do not stay at the Union Hotel in Brooklyn. So I am at the Union Hotel in Brooklyn and I don't know what classifies as three stars, but I would say this has to be less smudges on the mirror. They didn't even bother to properly patch that and paint over it. Look at that. This old covered with dust. Guess I can't wash my hair. Look at that. That's the best they could do with the soap I opened this. Burn mark, they can't, like, what? That's gotta be the cheapest hotel. Look at that shampoo I've ever seen. Will I even be able to stand in here without flip flops? Still got hair? Yuck. Mold. Dirty, still has soap scum. I don't know what that is. Still has soap from the last person that showered. And no housekeeping because of Corona, I'm guessing, since that's the new excuse. Uh, even given this small space, I think they could have did better. I opened this up. I'm scared to turn this on. The window doesn't open? Are you serious? Dirty windows? And the window doesn't open. They couldn't find four matching um, pillowcases? Hmm. It does smell like some type of cleaning agent, but you know, the floor outside, the hallway smells kind of like some of these rooms might be smoking. There's the door knock. Oh, it doesn't open. It's just for decoration. What the hell? take a security deposit. Surprise, there's even a TV in here. Hmm. Again. They have nerve to have a vacuum cleaner stored in the hallway in the bathroom. Don't have, doesn't have toilet paper, dispenser, or towels. Smells like smoke. Or cleaning after smoke. It's a tight squeeze. I don't know what y'all watching. You need to be watching yourself. Welcome to the Marriott Bonvoy, Renaissance Hotel, Chelsea, New York City. Now, this is a real hotel. I love the textured 3D effect wallpaper. I'm on the 16th floor. Oh, welcome back to the Sanity of Good Design. They have nice earthy elements. You see the grass and the butterflies continue with the design engraved in the mirror. See, this gives you like, a, I'm, I'm home with the wood paneling, like the, I mean, with the um, window panels, like the back door. I love the shower. I love the waterfall shower head. This is a great time. And it's handicap accessible without making you feel like you're in a handicap accessible situation. Um, what else do I love about this bathroom? Hmm. 
Yep. And the room. This is a simple room. Still spacious enough. I want to say this is like maybe around um, 370 to 400 square feet. Two double side tables. And you can pull this out and make it into whatever you want as you are going to see what I do with this. Reading lamp. And I've already got my stuff out. And then there's the TV, decent size. And you have your shelving, your ice bucket. Oop, I need some ice. And then your armoire. Where's it go? Oh, there it is. Boom. And if you want your dry cleaning, like a real hotel. And you know, that's for hanging dry your clothes. Now this is what I'm talking about. It's Friday night, so of course, it's a priced accordingly, but this room was still the matching the going rates throughout the cities. And I love the little extra action you got there with the reading lights on both ends. Um, this is cute too. I think it glows so you can change the different ambiance in the room. And that's that. This is your king size room. I'm on the 16th floor, you get nice views. This window is not that clean, but. And we are on 25th Street between 6th and 7th Avenues. Okay, so I had to get out of that place. You got a two-in-one with this real review, okay? Do not stay at the Union Hotel in Brooklyn. It is not just reasonably, affordably priced with a cute little college feel. It's a dirty, disgusting, nasty screw joint. I'm surprised you can't book by the hour. I overheard one girl say she did not have a toilet seat in her room. I didn't have any towels. I didn't even have a toilet tissue dispenser. So that's why I had to start staying in Manhattan. So, I mean, I'm waiting for Brooklyn to stand up. Y'all can stand up everywhere else, but your hotels are some trash. <laughs> That's another episode of A Real Review.